Today we're going to talk about a builder's toolkit and the one most important thing in that toolkit. So I've bought um, some examples of the sorts of things you'll see a builder using. And, and when I talk about builder, I'm talking about building supervisor, the person that you sign a contract with, the person that is potentially running your building site or their building supervisor. So a lot of people, when they think of a builder, they actually thinking of a tradesman. I see a bit of crossover in the industry, a builder, a tradesman, is there a difference? Well, yes, there, there really is a difference, a really significant difference in that your builder is actually your project manager. So the, the role of the builder is to bring all the various trades and suppliers together to deliver a product, being your new home. Can the builder be a tradesman? Well, of course, yes, but not necessarily and not always ideally. In fact, when I look at the industry, I see some guys that are great tradesmen, but are they good builders, project managers? Not always. The two are, are not always the same thing. So these two tools which you're seeing tradesmen use, are they an essential part of a builder's toolkit? Well, yes, that can help with some uh, repairs and maintenance and, and uh, the progress of your home. Yes, uh, quality control is important in terms of uh, getting things right on site, but are they the most critical? I argue, no, for a builder, they're not the most critical tools. These are the most critical tools for a tradesman. What about, what about builders and building supervisors that you see with this tool here on their phone all day long? Is that the most important tool? My, my opinion is that builders that have got this hanging off their ear all day long are not using it correctly. They're, they're likely to be very reactive in the way they plan their sites and they're just on this responding, reacting all day long and it's, it's, not, it's not the best way to run a site. So I don't, this is a handy tool, but I don't think this is the most important tool. My, my argument is that for a builder, this is the most important tool in the toolkit. This is how a successful builder, project manager, this is a diary by the way, um, this is how someone successfully plans and delivers a building project. Now I, I use these two uh, together, a, a, that's an a, a electronic diary, a computer. But whether it's electronic uh, on the computer or it's handwritten, both achieve the same thing. For a, a successful delivery of a building project, this is the best tool for a builder. The sites are planned. Every day the builder knows where they are, what they need to be doing, and importantly, what the key trades and suppliers need to be doing. And this is populated two, three, four weeks in advance. Now things change, sure but they change in the context of the plan. When there's no plan, guys are hanging on this, and that's a very dangerous way to be running a business and someone's investment of a home. Now, the, the electronic version of this being in here, something we offer clients at Integrity New Homes access to. So when I'm planning a site, I'm planning that on a site schedule inside our software, iGyro, and our clients can log into that and see the progress of their home in the coming weeks, who's planned to be there, and what the next steps of delivery of that project are. So I think it's really important both for, for us as a building company, but also for our clients to have this as the primary toolkit. So you've got visibility of the whole project and confidence that your bill is on top of things and gonna deliver a great outcome for you.